2012, uh, we're standing here at the IK Multimedia booth. They uh, really become uh, known for a lot of the stuff that they're putting out for the portable devices, uh, your iPhone and your uh, iPad. Uh, we've got some new offerings here we want to talk to them about. Um, sorry there. Brian. Your names turn around. Brian. Yeah. We're with Brian. And uh, we're going to look here at the iRig Mix. Uh, we're DJs out there with two iPads and ready to do some DJ work. All right. Um, as he said, this is the iRig Mix. Um, right now we have two iPads hooked up to it. The outputs of the iPads are going directly into the inputs of the iRig Mix. Um, you'll switch it to two. Let's see. Load up a song here. So you would load your song on each pad. This one's going to your to your left side. This one will be going to your right side. And then you got your fader in between. Um, if you like, he said two, iPad, two iPads, but if you like, you can actually use one iPad. Switch it to one, and you have your track on, you have your first track on A, your second track will be on B. That's very cool. Um, we also have built into this um, a cross sync with our DJ Rig app. With the DJ Rig app and cross sync on, it actually feeds audio to the other app, syncs, beat maps them together, and, and syncs them automatically. You don't have to do the beat mapping yourself. Um, we have our RCAs coming out here into your speakers, as well as the power, which is the uh, micro USB that's plugged into a power outlet below. Um, we have our, our headphone jack here so you can monitor your whole mix. Um, if you do like a cue, it's coming out the headphones now. You can cue them together, and then when you hit the cue off, it'll blend them in. Now um, we. Yeah, go, sorry, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Well, we've seen, uh, I, I know, much more expensive down the lower, the lower uh, experimental hall. Uh, some touchscreen DJ. What, what, what really makes the touchscreen good for DJing? Um, well, with the touchscreen, you don't have to have the big, bulky, you don't have to have those big, bulky uh, record players out here. It's simple, it's easy. You can do a little scratching if you like. And we've, if you want to do something, bring it in. We've built in multiple effects that you can use if you want to set like loops. You can loop up to a half bar, one bar, two bar. Bring it back in, you know what I'm saying? We've built in multiple effects. It's like a high pass filters. Low pass. Or like an auto wall. You know what I'm saying? know what you're saying <laughs> and then if you like we bring in like uh, oh you can call home calling yeah exactly <laughs> if you want to do like some throw in some little effects afterwards you know cool. um, we have cue points that you can set for uh, most DJs they like to like we'll set a cue point let's see if we can get one going uh oh All right. Does this work uh, with the iPad 2 exclusively? This or? is for iPad, iPhone, iPod touches. If you like, you can also plug any external device in. If you have like a CD player, a tape deck, as long as it has an output, and you go in directly into the input of the iRig mix. Okay. And this will work with the original iPad, uh, iPhone 4 only? Absolutely. No, no. It's uh, any any iPhone, iPod. Any touch. one of them. Yes, yes, oh, yes. That's nice to know. I believe um, I believe if you're going back to the original iPhones, it won't work. But like third generation and four. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Not a problem at all.